The following 15 minutes are audio excerpts as Mark Seibel interviewed the public while they observed the sun through his solar research grade telescope on a 10,000 mile cross country road trip from May through June 2000. How would you describe this to someone who's never seen it before? Um, I don't know. Um, well, for one thing, it doesn't seem real. It seems like just some image I'm looking at. But okay. oh, yeah. How would you describe it to someone who's never seen it before? Like this? Um, amazing. Beautiful. Amazing. They're beautiful. How would you describe this to someone who's never seen it before? I think it looks like a big egg. The yolk. Does it give you a different interpretation of the sun to see it this way? Um, you know, I think it gives you a better perspective on size. Mm -hmm. Because it, you don't ever get to really look at the sun. And it's hard to imagine that it's, when you look at something little on the, first the sun is small, and then you look at something little on the sun and realize that it is huge. Spring going on the edge? Yeah. yeah That's awesome. Okay. How would you describe that to someone who's never seen it before, to a telescope like this? You know how I would describe that? I would say, have you ever seen the movie Superman when the redness comes over to destroy the planet mm -hmm. and the flaring you get on the top of the ball? Yep. That's a, a, what we're experiencing right now, except instead of being Hollywood, this is nature giving it to you. Very good. <laughs> My exact feeling. Really? Wow. And you can see it just faintly kind of that moving off, yeah. yeah, moving off the circle. You can stack about 10 Earths up inside that plane. Easily. That's truly really amazing. Girls, take them up. Yeah, alternative educational program. Everything you see, my baby. Yeah. Tracking stuff on a, the right side here. Yeah. And I saw this there's a black dot on the left side. Uh -huh. Another big sunspot. That big black dot you see on the left side is about the size of the Earth. About the size of the planet Earth. Yeah, and it looks really small by the end. Um, uh, the... You scientist or an astronomer? Amateur. 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 Both are Well, I guess you could say we're all scientists, actually. All astronomers are scientists? Well. <laughs> Astronomers are definitely, but I mean everybody. Okay. Science is uh, Latin comes from the Latin word to know. Body of knowledge. Sorry. Chance. It's body of knowledge. Chance. I've never heard it actually. Chance. Yeah. It just means the body of knowledge. Yeah. I just think it's big yoke is right around the train. Okay. <laughs> no more. Meaning. As soon as you see something here, you might learn from. I guess it's, it's new knowledge. There isn't such a thing as, as science shows or scientifically proven. This yeah. is just modern crap. It's just theory, of course. Modern linguistic crap. That's a perfectly well. That's a good question. You have facts. You don't have facts. Yeah. But some of the image we're seeing here may be, little bubbles, may be factual. So how would you describe it? Ah! Yeah, real line, real quick. Like a perfect circle. <laughs> Most people are absolutely fascinated. Like a little whiskey cloud. This is really cool. It's an amateur telescope. Well, it was, I could see the spermatozoa wiggling through the membrane of the embryo. And uh, then you saw something. Then I saw him leaving him. And then after that, I realized it was just a Coca Cola logo that I was looking at. It must have been across the street. So, other than that, uh, it was fascinating. Of course, you were looking at the sun. Yeah. Just looking at the sun? That's all we're doing is looking for. Hold on, it is. What were you expecting? Something else? Like a Hollywood movie? I mean, we can make you famous. No, you can turn the guest cool. industry here. Maybe you'll be on an NPR radio show. That came out bad. No, I said that came out bad. I think That's right. I think it came out great. I love it. Yeah, I'll try. To speak it in, in, in Russian. Mm -hmm. Just the same thing you said in English, mm -hmm. but in Russian? Red in Russian? How do you say red? Krasny. Krasny? Krasny. Krasny. I see Krasny. Not the full shard. Uh, это кажется как какое-то цветовое пятно на черном фоне. Uh, uh, это кажется немножечко um, фантастическим, like fantastic. Uh, я не могу это объяснить точно, потому что это не рисунок, это не статика, это все время движется. Adiós que no era tipo ida capio con marcas, todo en en la por una por una beca de tu tu hijo. Era tal una pragmático. La de por la catalana botumabro, todo el spot black, spot black. 
what's up? Black spots. Black spots are electromagnetic storms on the surface yeah. of the sun. The hydrogen gases have cooled by about a thousand degrees at those points. Oh, and the they sun? darken the color. Right. Or outside. The surface, right on the surface. Right. Okay. It's not so much a surface like we call it on the Earth. It's what they call the photosphere. Do you have a word for that in Greek? The aurora borealis, the other lights? Leptiakros. How do you say sun in Greek? Helios. Helios. That's right. I should remember that. How do you say hello, how are you in Greek? Uh, and then fine, thank you. Kala Sigur Solikala. Yeah. Okay. That's got to show. Okay. Hey, you're welcome. Yeah, the view was more dramatic, by the way. Yeah, this looks... You've got those two small spots with that connection between them and a little fire yeah. on them. Bright, oh, bright hot yeah. images. Whoa! Turning up around them. And they change fast. You can watch them within minutes changing constantly. Uh, you, love, you can just see the cloud hidden over it, too. Yeah, well, you yeah. have a problem with clouds here today. We're looking to the haze. The image is... not a problem. Yeah. It's just part oh. of the show. Yeah. Why are you doing it? Oh, just for public service. I'm oh, my people. God. That looping front at their flare, you see, uh, you could stack maybe 10 wrists up inside that flame. Oh, my God. How would you describe that to someone who's never seen it? Uh, looks like a glowing ball of... Lava or something. Uh-huh. See the same dark sunspots in bright regions around them where it's flaring yes. up. Yes, you can see that very clearly. How would you describe that to someone who's never seen it? How would I describe that? Oh, yeah. It's, it's like a, this gelatinous, gelatinous kind of look that's a very beautiful color. And it has uh, dots and uh, with fissures in it. Mm -hmm. That's fine, so it's too far away. Is that a language besides English? I do, yeah. I'm born, I'm, I'm, I'm born in Bulgaria. It's, it's a Slavic language, actually. Could you describe it in your language? Oh, in, in Bulgarian? Yeah, I'd like to see it. Okay. Do you want to speak English? Yeah. Do you want to speak English? Yeah. Do you want to speak English? Do you want to speak English? Yeah, it said no uh then I should go to the sea and no no but you see what that that pretty much what I said in the in the English Thanks. In, Bulgaria. in Bulgaria. Yeah. How do you say thank you in Bulgarian? Благодаря. I'm sorry. Благодаря. Now, how would you describe that in Russian? The way it's changing. Oh my God. Um, I'm I'm losing I'm losing my English words. I'm trying to describe it, <laughs> which is just just uh, roughly. Два глубоких каньона, которые удлиняются север на юг, сверху вниз. It is fascinating. Lord, I, you made my day. You made my, you made my millennium, sir. Describe it. You're gonna say the way it looks to you is the way it looks to me. <laughs> How about if I come back and give you a description? You can give me one now if you want. So what do you think? Standing here? Yeah, that little thing hanging off the side? That little thing's about 100,000 miles, about half the distance from here to the moon. Oh my god. And a gentleman named Mike No is going to describe it for us in Vietnamese. They're speaking behind you, can you hear them? The two ladies? Yeah. Are they speaking your language? No, Korean. That's Korean. Okay. It's different, quite different. Huh? Oh, yeah. Sure. Yeah, tôi lần đầu tiên uh, nhìn thấy mặt trời nhìn thẳng uh, vô cái một cái uh, telescope màu mình thấy là cũng như là màu màu cam. No, it's gone now. What happened? Yeah, it's not small. It is not. Ah, the conquest is there. Ça, ça a des millions de 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 miel là. Il dit la planète Terre, c'est la grosseur du sein. Nous autres, on est la grosseur du sein. How would you describe it? How you see some fuel and some fuel jets? Like the wires and promises? Yeah. I said yes. You can see some. It's like some. It's like you see a ocean through a big cloud. It is. It's kind of liquid hydrogen gas. It's almost that. Oh no, no, you moved it too far. Okay, that's good. So how do you describe this to someone who's never seen it? It's indescribable. It's what? Indescribable. Is it? Yeah, it's pretty indescribable. But you could describe something you're seeing visually there. What does it look like? It's red. And it's so beautiful. It's really hard to keep your eyes focused on it. It looks like that's the, the flames. They look like little tiny plants growing up. So it looks like something maybe visceral or symbiotic or like biological possibly. 
Yeah, it kind of does. It, it kind of reminds me of like something you'd see in the womb or something like that. I'm oh, sorry, something what? Something in the womb. Uh -huh. Are you recording everybody? I'm trying to get interesting responses. I'm writing a journal or a log, but... Really? So we'll take a look. That's why I'm here. Look right at the sun watching, the the, watching the solar flare activity. It's solar. Oh, so wow. You oh. see live solar oh, flares on the surface. It's pretty mind You want to hurt your eyes? Okay. It'll hurt your mind more than hurt your eyes. Have you ever looked at the sun like this before? Now you who just stare straight at it. I didn't expect it to be red. That's the filter. You know, I've looked at the moon a lot more than the sun, and I think about the moon a lot more than the sun, and I suppose it's because I can look at it all the time. Oh. You know, you know we can look at that anymore. I haven't got the slightest idea. You might want to ask it. His name is Mark. So, you want to see what you're seeing? Yeah. Oh, okay. Whoa. Do you want to that was pretty that? rad. Yeah, how would you describe that to someone that's never seen it before? Cool. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> So what do you do? Just write your name here and like... I felt like this big like art thing on it, man. That was about... That was killer. I didn't know that was going on. Yeah. Is this like a little thing I've seen? Sidewalk Astronomers? I've got a video. You've probably seen John Dobson. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He was like the originator of all this thing. Oh, that's right. Oh, he's so sick. Do you see something here now? Yeah, the right Oh, hell yeah, I do. He's 150,000 miles out of here. Right here. Maybe 200,000. Yeah, probably, yeah. That coin would be a couple of Earths. Oh, you're back. I'm thinking at least. Yeah, yeah just, it's just exploded. 200,000 miles out of the surface. It's, it's dissipating, though. See, we'll see it soon. It's going to go away. Is this that's that's all the electrical interference ever with life? That is your heart? Some blood to your body? Yeah, it's all connected. I mean, it's... Yeah. Uh, so, a word? A comment? Describe it? Yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for... Oh, okay. Did you write that? Yeah, yeah great. Yeah. That's pretty neat. How'd you describe that to someone who's never seen it? Okay. <laughs> yeah, describe it. Good grief. It's so... Unbelievable. I'm so glad I got a chance to see it. So, what do you think? Looks like a cell. <laughs> I've heard that a couple times. Yeah. I think we pretty much arrived in the consensus that that's what it is. Yeah, yeah sure. Thank you. Okay, you're recording? Should I go? Yeah, sure. Okay, well, I see a large dark spot that appears to be a, toward the center of the sun, a little bit towards the bottom, I'd say. Um, and as I look to the lower left of the sun, which appears to be about 7.30 or so, I see a pattern of several distinct dark spots. The one to the far right, they almost appear to be in a trail. And two of the spots actually appear to be connected by a weird sort of dark trail. I'm not sure what that is. You see what appear to be flares. They kind of look like almost smoke or mist wafting up. It's a good way of describing it, almost like mushroom clouds. And the sun just moved a little bit. In this position, it's all stuff up there. Yeah, no problem. Do you speak another language? Do you speak German? Yeah. Could you describe it in German? <laughs> oh, thanks. Not Peterson, yeah, I knew that. Yeah. Oh, me too. Okay. Um it's kind of hard to switch with zwei schwarze Flecken auf der linken Seite, unteren Seite der Sonne. Da ist sie die Uhr. Und die, am Rande der Sonne ist ähm, einige ja, Aktivität, Feueraktivität wahrscheinlich. Ja, das war mal sie. Great. What's your name? Heike. Heike. I'm Mark. Do I see a smart response? Would you sign it? Just yeah. a couple of words? Okay. Right in German if you want. Sur le côté droit, à oui. ma trois heures, oui. okay. euh, là je vois la, la, la courbe rouge, oui. puis dans la, la, des petits the dark spots you see are about the size of the earth. To someone who's never seen it before, if you had to tell them what you saw. Oh yeah. You can see a dark sunspot on the surface of the earth. The sunspot's about the size of the earth, but the dark spots are the same. Oh, yeah, over here. The texture on the surface, kind of a hardened, hairy texture. Yeah. Hydrogen gas is looking at the surface and darkening as they cool the temperature. Wow. There's not much activity going on today overall in the sun, but that's the most interesting side right now. Wow. Um, I'm not sure if it's still the same direction to start out. Yeah, it's, I can see it. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh-huh, I can see it. Yeah. Oh.